how to sell digital patterns on Etsy. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I will be teaching you on how you could sell digital patterns on Etsy. So let's check out different patterns that we could see in Etsy. So go here in the search bar and simply search for digital patterns. So we could see and show you what type of patterns we are going to be showing and creating in today's video. As you can see here, there is a lot of different patterns with different styles. Also, one thing to remember that the products are not just one pattern, but a lot of different patterns. As you can see here, uh, this one has 20 patterns, but with a flower theme. This one has 20 patterns as well, but has a boho theme. And similarly over here, flowers and watermelons, spiral floral, uh, patterns from the journey, and fire and ice background and many more as you can see there is a lot of different patterns that you could check out and buy in etsy so we will be showing you on how you could do this as well now like what we saw earlier we already know that we can't just make one design we have to make multiple patterns so that we could sell them on etsy and we will be using this platform called canva which is, i think is great for creating designs that are pattern-like because Canva has a lot of elements that you could incorporate together and build. And you will be able to build any type of project on Canva so you could use this for this digital pattern so that you could sell them on Etsy. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out one of this for now. For example, let's go with this uh, digital floral, digital paper flowers that you see here, this is the design and we can observe that this is the output they have basically the design of being offered over here that people could use for literally anything for like socks for clothing any type of product or product that they want they could use the floral design for that and as you can see they will be able to get the file with a digital type file over here so we will be going to canva and we will be creating our design now right now the size doesn't really matter. You could go with any size. But for us, let's go and create a design over here. And we're going to click on custom size. And we're going to go with 1920 by 1080 pixels. So we're simply going to create our design in this canvas that we are going to be using. And let's say our theme would be a minimalist and related to space. So that is our theme. We will be creating patterns reoccurring patterns or literally any type of pattern that we could think of by using space as the theme so let's go ahead and click on elements over here now keep in mind you have to create multiple types of design you can't just make one so you're going to have to create 20. so let's simply click on elements and let's search in elements on uh, space and we will be able to see both graphics photos and videos over here so under graphics, let's look for different designs that we could use for our pattern. Maybe this one, we could use this. Let's select this for now so that we have it on our page over here. And let's look for additional design. As you can see, there's also a magical recommendation already. Actually, let's try checking out the magical recommendations because there's a lot of designs over here. And we could have that as one of our designs. So we have this. Let's put it over here on the corner. Let's use the different types of uh, design here. Let's take advantage of the freedom or the amount of uh, digital example of the specific style. Uh, we could change things around. We could move them uh, and turn them and try and make them unique to each other. There we go. Put it over here Just like that. And maybe this one over here in the middle could simply compile them together you could even change the transparency if you want something like that and you could add more uh, this one over here there we go and we could change our background of our canvas over here let's turn this off for now click on position and let's select our background let's turn our background to a darker color there we go like a black so that you could notice the design more or something gray Let's just go settle with black and let's increase the size of some of this so that you will be able to notice them much better. And 
there we go we have one design done that is related to space now we have this very simple design now we could click on add new page now let's look for another design click on elements and let's continue looking through space and let's look for more designs under graphic and let's see there's a lot of different unique designs that we could use here i am suggesting that you use something that is consistent and has a consistent design like what we did over here so let's look for one that we could use maybe we could go with a childish version like a cat over here then we could see more like this and see similar designs as you can see here like maybe this one put that together and we could put it together like that then we could simply uh, duplicate this and make them uh, multiply and have multiple designs of this this is technically a pattern so this counts just like that and you could have this as one of your designs very easy right you can simply stick with a design and call and duplicate them over and over and maybe we could use some of this as well this design that you are seeing right now maybe this one this one and this one over here we have uh this planet over here we could use another planet like this one and this one and you can simply arrange them in a more realistic way okay like that uh one is bigger one is smaller of course like this one let's make this like a bit transparent because it's a bit harder to put this over here and this one over here make this one bigger this one over here and now there we go we have another pattern now we created a total of three patterns and now what you can do after you create at least 20 have 20 as your minimum after you create that you're simply going to click on share click on download and simply click on download you will be able to download all of it as a zip file when you select them all over here as you can see and after you download them as a zip file you could go to etsy now and you could put in the information necessary in the etsy store when you're adding a product like the title page of course put in the title corresponding with the theme which is space and you could add in the price you could upload your file the digital file also create a design like this as well create a preview picture so that your customers will be able to see the design or like different things that they could do with the design as you can see here do something similar to this you could use uh, canva as well for this for example let's download our page one over here we could download and let's use our page one as our image and let's go and add another page over here and we will be creating a mock-up for this specific image there's a lot of different mock-ups in canva as well that you could use to present your product like this one over here and let's go try it out and after that click on edit image and under here you'll be able to see smart mock-ups simply click on smart mock-ups and you will be able to see all of these mock-ups that you could use for example let's say we will be using this design as a frame in the background maybe or you could have it as a design for a t-shirt or even a hoodie or even a mug over here so let's try a mug next as you can see this is our design and let's try it as a mug you will be able to see the pattern or the pattern that we have created in a mug as you can see it's a bit hard to see but there we go this is our product over here you can simply download this and you could upload the image of this mock-up that you have created and upload it on etsy as well and start selling your very own digital patterns and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe